everybody, welcome to another Liquid Chrome Nails video. So today we are taking Rosie Posey by Light Elegance, it was a buttercream, off of the nail and we are actually putting on a silver base and a holographic glitter for the entire nail. So not just an accent nail, not just an ombre or a half a nail, it's going to be for the entire nail. These turn out looking crazy, I love them. So what we're going to talk about today, for today's myth, or for today's little bit of understanding, is gel or acrylic. So liquid and powder versus gel. Now I've only got, what, 11 minutes here, so I can really only barely tip the iceberg. We all know how huge of a conversation this is, still within the industry even though there's so much science, um, but it's still such a big deal and it's so misunderstood. Um, so I think every time um, a nail technician is educated on the matter, that is just one more person that can help spread the proper word. So the first artificial nail enhancement products were called acrylic nails. As you might imagine, they weren't very good by today's standards, but neither were the first cars, computers, or airplanes. All new products need time to reach their full potential. Unfortunately, many people still associate the word acrylic with those outdated products. And that's so true. We all know someone that says, oh, I would never get acrylic nails again. I had them once in 1989 and they ruined my nails. They don't realize that our all, all artificial nail enhancement are based on the ingredients from the acrylic family, all of them. Of course, just because the products are based on the acrylic family doesn't mean they're all the same. Um, so I think we just need to stop grouping maybe our words together like that. Your liquid and powder systems are based on a branch of the acrylic family called the methacrylates. You know, don't get that mixed up with your ethyl methacrylate or methyl methacrylate. These are just the methacrylates. Um, gels and some of the tip adhesives and a few other things are based on the cyanoacrylates. So UV gel products, so the gel products that we're used to until recently, were based strictly on ingredients from a third branch called acrylates. So they really are coming kind of from all the same branch. Um, newer, more advanced products are based on the methacrylates. Things change every day, guys. We know that. We've seen anybody that's been in the industry for any amount of time knows how much it has changed. It's changed amazingly in the time I've been in it. Um, so each, each category of these acrylates have got their advantages and their disadvantages, of course, um, but they are all very closely related. A lot of times when a client asks, what I will tell them is no one is better than the other, although my personal belief is that I like acrylic better. I like working with acrylic better. I like how it turns out better. Um, I like the things I can do with it. I like the way it forms. I like the challenge that it gives me. And gel breaks me out. So those are the things that a lot of times I will say during a conversation with a client when they say, well, I meant to ask you, which is better, gel or acrylic? Um, I just don't think we should be bashing the other side of the fence. Um, it's, it's funny, I mean, I used to do a lot of gel I up one day and packed it all up and gave it away. I decided after a few years in the industry, approximately a decade, that if I didn't want to do gel nails anymore, that I didn't have to, so I gave it all away. Um, but everyone has a different outlook on this, and sometimes all it takes is just a little bit of science behind it to be able to have our clients better understand what we mean when we say they are the same, but they are different. So if you have yet to subscribe, I would so greatly appreciate it if you did. It really helps my channel so much more than what you can imagine. Um, if you liked this video, if you want to see more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up. That's how I know that you would like to see more. If you have any questions about what I'm using in any part of this, please let me know. As some of you may be able to tell, this is sped up double time. Um, so it does look like I'm a really, really fast worker. I'm not, I suppose I am to a degree, but not like this. 
and I want to thank my lovely client for allowing me to use her hands in this little barb. So I want you all to have a great day.